everyone. I'm Simon. Solomon's Tales. Episode 5, I think. I won't recap, just watch the previous videos. So Solomon, he's just come out of the Jasmine Suites. He's got his large suitcase, which is still light as a feather. He hasn't got many clothes in there. Jasmine's on Soy 23 of Sukhumvit Road, Bangkok. Across the road is the lane that runs down to the next Soy 21, which is called Soy Cowboy, which is where all the nightlife is. Um, so he walks down Soy Cowboy to Soy 21, jumps in a tuk-tuk, because of the one-way system, it's cheaper to do it. And he thinks, I've only got one more night in Bangkok. I've got a couple more things I want to do before I head off to the next destination. So, into the tuk-tuk, Soy 4. Tuk -tuk. Along, turns right down, so bit left into Soy 4. It's not far, it's only five minutes. Less than that. Into Soy 4, he's got Nana Plaza complex on his left, he's got Nana Hotel on his right. Just about 100 metres down on the left, he remembers a hotel he'd uh, read about. Dynasty Inn or Dynasty Hotel or something like that. Stops there, pays Tuk Tuk. Always 100 baht. Goes in as a walk in, 1000 baht a night. He books one night at this hotel. He knows it's a basic hotel and they've put him upstairs at the back. So he goes up to his room, got a safe, throws everything in the safe as normal, and quick shower, change. Now, this day he knows there is one thing he wants to do. This is dreams he's had, read about, people have talked about, he's never tried this. This is going to be maybe a once in a lifetime thing as a single guy that he wants to try and it will involve extended aerobics lessons back in the UK he bought some of these original Viagra tablets off friends who told them told him what they do and uh, what the score is now he was told take half a tablet um, an hour before you want any activities so he thought this is going to be a good time he's going to go off and get some breakfast then he's going to head to this certain place maybe get a beer first and then so he thought right so he takes gets a tablet breaks it in half takes half a tablet with some water bottle of water free water in the fridge he's had his shower he's got changed right he's probably put about 10,000 baht in his pocket Everything else he's put away, doesn't need a phone, doesn't need anything. All locked in the safe, off he goes. Straight across the road to the bus stop, restaurant, cafe, breakfast. Feel a little bit apprehensive. Never took one of those tablets before, doesn't know what's going to happen. Um, has breakfast, comes out, right, he's going to walk. Walks along Soy 4, turns right on Sukhumvit. Heading back towards the Jasmine Suites, basically. He gets to a soy on the left hand side, soy a seven stroke one. Whether it's still there in this establishment, still operates, I don't know, but. Into soy seven one, you can see the place on the right, it's called the Eden Club. Mmm, it's a cafe bar on the right, a few of them on the left, you think, I'm gonna get a beer first. Flicks to the left. This little bar cafe sits out the front, looking at towards the Eden Club. It's a little dead end soy. So there's a few parked cars and things. Sits there with a beer, plucking up the courage, and he's looking across. And in front of him is the Eden Club, which is like a small bar, closed front. To the right, a couple of other little buildings, and the Star Hotel. Now he'd heard that the Star Hotel and the Eden Club somehow connected. He has his beer, he plucks up the carriage, he's ready. Once in a lifetime opportunity, he's thinking, I've got to do this. Over to the Eden Club, walks through the door. It's quite a dark, it's not that big, but a sort of longer bar. Bar's on the left hand side, the counter, and he comes in, and the owner, some sort of Norwegian, Denmark, 
Swedish, I don't know, sort of uh, Northern Europe owner with a beard comes across and uh, starts talking to him and he uh, says have you been here before and he's no and do you know exactly what we are and he sort of and you're here to actually go through with this or are you just looking he's sort of quite pushy you know he's sort of are you wasting my time or are you here for the enjoyment and he's Solomon is like yep yeah, I'm here for enjoyment the guy clicks his fingers and shouts something um, and from the back loads of girls appear so he's come in the door bars on the left the wall down the right on the floor about three meters in front of him is a line going across across from the right hand wall to the end of the bar I can't remember what he said whether Solomon said it was red or yellow line but it doesn't matter it's a line on the floor and the girls lined up against all the way along the wall there was five or six on this side of the line and maybe five or six on the other side and this was about lunchtime ish and the guy explained the situation pick a girl from the right of the line she will pick a girl from the left unless you have preferences um, gave some indications of what could happen and different choices but so Solomon looked and the girls are all stunning but one in particular pretty much in the middle of this on the right here absolutely she was tall beautiful absolutely stunning and he said take that girl and that girl then indicated a girl further down and the owner sort of said well that will be the other girl coming and she was stunning as well a bit shorter but she was stunning so he's like okay and then the gentleman the owner said do you want something out of the cupboard toys and things and I'm like Solomon's like no 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 he'd heard stories about the cupboard and thought no not and he had to pay the money there and then um, and back then it was something like four and a half thousand baht which I think it was about 50 pounds British money for the pleasure of two young ladies including for two hours and they would then take him to the Star Hotel to a room next door obviously he was uh, very sort of apprehensive but the girls were professionals Solomon paid his money and they then took him out the front along to the hotel and up to a room where he participated in multiple aerobics courses lessons and then he watched some other forms of instruction and activities um, and the two hours passed pretty quick and they came to an end had a shower back to the bar uh, but he wasn't he didn't have to go back to the bar himself that was it he was out the door two hours done finished and he came out to the front door of the star with the biggest grin on his face he just performed he he just had an amazing time best aerobics class he's ever been to <laughs> it was one thing he'd always wanted to try and he was not disappointed absolutely over the moon full of confidence now the magic tablet had worked and he felt like Superman he was ready to take on the world um, it's an experience he'd never forget always stay with him so this is about two in the afternoon more food he whips along to the next soy soy seven by that beer garden yeah where the girl had uh, hmm. anyway he remembered that food court he went in there and grabbed some lunch I thought right one more evening in Bangkok and he he had an idea what he wanted to do um, but it was mid afternoon so he thought right I'm gonna go back up to Cowboy now and have a drink in the bars there and watch some shows and things uh, for a few hours so off he goes goes into Longhorn I think it is and saw a couple of shows and 
Baccarat and a few other go-go's there. Enjoyed himself, had a few drinks. Five-ish, back to the hotel, have a afternoon siesta for a few hours and then up he gets, shower, change, puts about 4,000 baht in his pocket, everything else locked away. Uh, heads around the corner to another sort of food court on the right by KFC opposite a garage, get some Thai food and he's all recharged his batteries. Still got some after effects from the tablet. His body feels like it still wants to uh, do some more aerobics. So from the first night he remembered Soy Zero. So this is across the road from where he is now. Um, under the bridge next to the railway lines he remembers there was some little bars down that alleyway. The last time he did the front right bar we thought there was a bar down on the left with lots of girls in. I'm going there. And he crosses the road, down he goes. Girls in the right bar recognise him and all start shouting. He's like, yeah, yeah, no. Carries on walking. 20 metres down, bar on the left. Single pool table, air conditioning, front end closed, in he goes. And he orders a drink. There's quite a few girls in there. And then out of the corner of his eye, he saw two girls there on the pool table they were very slim shortish hair with sort of blonde highlights both of them they were identical twins identical never at this point he'd never come across twins in a bar identical twins and his eyes just straight open his mouth he's got his mouth open he's like oh my oh dear oh and he's feeling like he's just conquered the world anyway that day and this is a hedonistic holiday he's already thinking right he gets on the pool table asks to play them both starts talking chatting he buys them both a drink gets chatting yep they are available he couldn't resist it he's only had a couple of drinks bar fine he's gonna take two girls on again but these are identical twins but they're just working in a beer bar. They're not like the Eden Club. Doesn't know what to expect. Bar finds them both. Out, back to the hotel. What a disappointment. They would not work together as a team. One would go in the bathroom while the other one was doing the aerobics and swap over. But it was just like, having one girlfriend because they'd go in the bars and come back and they look the same total total disappointment let down it, he thought this was the dream of a guy to, a pair of identical twins gorgeous looking ladies and it was completely the opposite to the Eden Club nothing the same oh dear and it cost him as well um, they were keen to get away, didn't want a long course, uh, and I think he paid 2000 each, plus the bar fine for both of them as well, which was probably 500 bar. So that probably cost him the same as the Eden Club, but so, so disappointed. So disappointed. But it taught him a lesson. Remember, he knows everything he thinks already after a few couple of visits to Thailand. He's learning quick but he does not know everything. There we go. That is Girls Gone. That is last night in Bangkok. Tomorrow, plans heading off. Catch you on the next one. Where's he going next? North or south? East or west? Hmm. Look that one up, Eden Club. See you soon. Bye-bye.